a message encoded with ECC and transmitted through noise channel. The receiver can decode the data and recover the original message with correction if any. The error correction is done through syndrome evaluation, Burdekin Messy polynomial construction, chain search error locator. The received code work can be checked against error by evaluating with roots of generator to produce syndromes. If the syndrome is found to be zero, it contains no errors. If one or more the syndromes is not zero, then they are used for calculating the error location and followed by correcting the data at the error locations. Suppose there is a receive code. We may represent it in polynomial form. The evaluation can be given with elements. We don't bother with non-primitive cases. If you can get permission to eat ice cream for a mom, then ask that. Because there was no other way. Recall the making of ECC. The user message is divided by the generator to produce remainder ECC, and the final code word is formed by adding remainder ECC to it. This code word is not ordinary code word. It is divisible by the generator because adding remainder ECC makes the remainder to be zero. Therefore, the encoded code word has generated polynomial as one of its factors. To test the code word's divisibility, Simply evaluate the cohort polynomial with roots of generator. If the evaluation is zero, then it is a valid cohort, which is able to be factored by generator, just like the good old algebra practice. The number of generator roots determines the ECC correction capability. For instance, the double error corrector has four roots, and triple corrector, six roots. Therefore, there are two T simultaneous equations for the code, where the T is the number of independent minimal polynomials. Here is the RTL design of a syndrome evaluation. A received code consists of original valid code word and additive error noise. Because generator roots evaluation of code word is zero, the magnitude of syndromes are all from the contribution of error polynomial. Therefore, it may have 2T syndrome values containing error information. For expression simplification, use index for power root. For the error roots, we may expand the product term into polynomial form. The roots of the code can be expressed in terms of their inverse values. This is called error location polynomial. We have syndrome equations and error location equations in terms of error location index. Transforming syndromes in error location polynomial is done using Girard Newton identities. Instead of finding the error roots directly, the algorithm constructs the error location polynomial first. Once the error location polynomial is found, the error locations are just the roots of the polynomial. If I can't beat Thanos fair and square, I will get the stones to reach the same goal. For a given set of syndromes, the Bertie K. Massey algorithm synthesizes the shortest linear feedback shift register. At each step, the difference of polynomial value from zero, which is called discrepancy, is calculated. If the discrepancy is zero, continue incrementing the length of the register. If discrepancy is not zero, then go back to previous good length shift register and add the discrepancy to it so that there's no more discrepancy and continue incrementing the length of the register. The algorithm will find a shift register with a length that results in discrepancy of zero for all syndromes. The error location number can be found by determining the roots of error location polynomial. This is known as chain search. The error locations can be searched by plugging the primitive elements into the error location polynomial and check for zero. If the tested element is a root, the error location number is the inverse of the root. Then we may go ahead and correct the corresponding bits. To step through Burleigh Messy synthesis, run ECCR. Fix runtime exception on Windows build. Build all right. Set breakpoints.
star stepping. Thank you.